Hey guys, this is BMO Gaming. If you're and welcome in back to Portal 2. Sixty dollars. Flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Science stuff. Sounds safe. one there, and the blue one there. And that, that's not entirely how we were supposed to do it, I think. Okay. Uh, it says, ah, oh, okay, 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 I gotcha. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What is that? Got my cube. Looks like cube needs to go on button. So I need to put the orange bottle there. And that gives me something here. that no okay there we go okay now it looks like uh, what does it look like looks like something needs to occur okay first of all why don't we put some blue gel on here I think that's step one. Alright. And then I think we need to get blue gel on there. 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 Okay, so now... If we pull them there, oh, that's not. Hmm. As I may have said before, it has been just a little bit of a long time before I've played through this game, or since I've played through this game, rather. Is that splatter that? Does, does, can do portals work like that? I think they do. It's awesome. Oh, bueno. Uh, now one there. Yeah. And one there. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah! Boing! And we're good. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt?
Now we go to the gamma. Gel. Oh, this stuff is portal adhesion gel, the white stuff. So, wherever the white stuff is, you can put a portal. Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, that was some sort of fast thinking. I thought I was gonna have to fall, uh, but then I realized I could probably do that. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Well, that's... that's saddening. Cape Johnson is deathly ill via moon rock testing. That's... that makes me sad. It really does. No elevator loading screen? I guess not. That's cool. Hmm. I just spray this stuff everywhere. Seems like a good enough idea. There's some stuff we can hold on to. Oh, uh, not exactly super high, is it? Can we get under here? Okay. That's good enough, I think.
is now that I pretty much forget what I'm doing. Oh, what if we like that, and it goes a little higher each time? Okay, okay. I got you. Nice. Nope. Not the most talkative let's play ever. Oh, I derped it. That's my B. Gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life. Take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rule the day. It thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. That uh, that lemon rant is my favorite line in the game. The game really gets super duper atmospheric right around this point in time. Um, unfortunately, we're just about out of time, so I think it's time to cut this episode off. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I'll leave you guys here. I uh, will see you next time.